Tretton Owen is like Kris Jenner. Like she's amazing, she's empowering, she gets shit done. Um, but she can be problematic if you don't know how to handle her and make some mistakes along the way that you will pay for. Hello everybody. This is a very simple video of kind of the things that I wish I had a very simple video to explain the things that you should not be using when you're using Tretinoin. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you guys are new here, I have new skincare videos every Sunday. I also have skin updates every couple of months, but also more frequent ones on my Instagram, which I'll put up here where I post a bit more regularly. So you guys want to see how my skin's coming along. So I started this channel about, well, I don't know, I started in October and I started because I started using Tretinoin, which was like, you know, I wanted to document my progress. I am off Tretinoin currently. I might go back on it in the future, but for the time being, I'm not using it. However, I use tretinoin and I had a journey with it. Anyway, I made some mistakes and I have a whole video on that, but that was like when I was new to YouTube and I didn't really feel fully comfortable yet. I think I literally start the video by just being like, hi. Yeah, it's uh, a bit awkward. So anyway, I wanted to just share some things that you should really, really, truly avoid if you are using tretinoin. For entertainment purposes, I think I'll just insert some pictures of some really, really bad, horrific things that happened when I used some of these things and did some of these things. Anyway, listen, the first thing that I didn't know it and then I also knew it, but did it anyway because I forgot. So just don't forget that if you're using tretinoin, or other retinoids, it it thins the top layer of your skin and you really truly want to avoid waxing because you're literally just going to be ripping off whatever is, is there. Whatever skin is there, you are going to be ripping it off along with your wax. Now that happens anyway, but you know, if you're not using tretinoin, then your skin is harder, there's more there, it's going to be fine. Yeah, you'll you get a bit of redness, whatever, that's what happens when you wax. But when you're using tretinoin, that is like horrific. Honestly, I did it. I have the evidence. I waxed my upper lip and it was sore. It was red, it was raw and it was not fun. Um, so please avoid waxing if you're using tretinoin or unless you're a rebel and you really want to try and get away with it. But I also did that and um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of got away with it on my eyebrows, but then here, part of my upper lip, nope, same thing happened again. So just, uh, Avoid it if you don't want that because it does take time to heal. Your skin will go back to normal, but it's just unnecessary. It's irritation, it hurts, and it, you just don't need it. You don't need that. Okay, so the next thing that I would say, just fully, fully, fully avoid. I now fully avoid it, have not touched it in ages. Seemed like a waste of money when I bought it, but luckily I didn't buy like a really expensive one. It's a spin brush, okay? Now, spin brushes got so much hype but then when you really, really think about how much they do for your skin, it's like, okay, yeah, no, it's really not that great. It's really not even that fantastic. Um, I mean, there goes any endorsement that I might have ever had for a spin brush, but who cares? Because honestly, I don't really rate them. Now, their marketing, like for example, the Clarisonic, I can't remember what they say, but it's something like, five times better than washing with your fingers or your hands. And it's like, I'm pretty sure a flannel is also five times better or a washcloth five times better probably too. They've just slipped that into the market and it does make it sound cool. But realistically, you think you're getting a really deeper clean, it's gonna be way more better. Wow, way more better. My mom's gonna be proud of that. You think it's gonna be much better, but in the grand scheme of things, it's just adding a lot of irritation. And if you are not controlled, you might be putting on more pressure than is necessary and causing even further damage. I think I'm definitely on the train now that's like, yeah, spin brushes aren't really all that. They can cause broken capillaries, they cause irritation, and people can overuse and be too harsh without even meaning to and without even realizing I was one of those people. So if you can, just fully, you know, put it to one side. You don't need it, you really don't. It can still be really harsh with a flannel. You can get a really soft cloth, but if you're really scrubbing your face really harsh, then yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose. But the spin brush acts in a way that is already so harsh that it just, yeah, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. Another thing to avoid if you're using tretinoin is sitting out in the sun. If you are somebody that enjoys sunbathing or lounging in the sun, 
if it's summertime where you are, then yeah, I get it. It's really, really nice feeling heat and sun on your skin. But honestly, avoid the sun like the plague if you have tretinoin. Now, you obviously can go out. You don't have to be a vampire. However, you really want to wear your SPF, like a factor 50, reapplying it, being really, really serious about that. Let me know what your mistakes using tretinoin has been or using a retinoid or a mistake that you managed to completely avoid by doing something different. So another thing to avoid, which I had to like really honestly step back and be like, whoa, this is too much. It's doing too much. So whether you're, you know, really into skincare, you're using tretinoin, and then you hear and you get back into the vibe and the swing of vitamin C is great, niacinamide is great, let me try incorporate a niacinamide serum and then a vitamin C in the evenings and then a tretinoin and all these things that you just want to avoid. Now, in particular, there are things that you, actives and ingredients that you want to avoid completely if you're using tretinoin, particularly using them at the same time. So if, for example, you don't want to use a salicylic acid, a glycolic acid, and then use a tretinoin. Just avoid it. But my main point here is really avoiding overdoing things. Because when you overcomplicate your skincare routine when using tretinoin, you end up causing more damage. I've done it myself. I was using so many things that it was just drying out my skin. My barrier was just doing the most. Using too much, too many products and everything, not good. So my next point that comes into that swiftly is using too much of the tretinoin itself. Now, let me get my tretinoin. So this is my tretinoin tube. Obviously it might differ for whatever one you have, but these tubes are hard to tell what a pea size amount is. Now, the treatment that I'm using currently is by Dermatica and it's a pump. So one pump is literally the pea size amount that you want. However, with this, it's a bit hard. You can be like, oh, that's a big pea or that's a small pea or this looks like a pea to me. But you know, it's subjective. So using a little bit goes a long way. Less is more. Tretinoin does not need to be applied um, a lot all over the face. It doesn't need that. It's not gonna make it work faster, get rid of your acne, get rid of your wrinkles quicker. Like, no, it's really not. So you just need the tiniest amount. Let's see if we can try and get a decent pea size amount. If I was to use it on my face now, I would probably use about that much. Before I would have kind of considered that as a pea size amount. And I'd be like, oh yeah, that's, that's a big pea. Like, no, that's just not the right amount at all. So in that instance, the thing to avoid is using too much of the tretinoin itself. And whilst we're on that topic, I might as well say it's also good to not use too much of it, like using it every day, for example, especially if you're just starting it. Don't do it, don't do it. I don't know how many people, some people told me not to do it on YouTube, you know, they were like, don't use it too often. And I'm like, they're applying it every day thinking, yeah, but I can firm it. My skin can go through it, it's fine. Basically, treat tretinoin with a little bit of respect. Don't underestimate it. I did that. I kind of had a lack of respect for it. I was like, yeah, it's okay. I've done skin peels. You know, yeah, I'll go through the ugly phase and I'll come out the other end. Treat it with respect. Treat it like it is, you know, super, super powerful because it is so strong and it will transform your skin. If you think about it, the, the transformation it can create, you know, the minimization of um, fine lines and wrinkles and the elimination of acne and acne marks, that's really, really powerful. So why then think, oh, it's not all that, oh, I'll put, I have to wear it every day. No, a couple of times a week, you can still get those results without underestimating it. And the benefit of that is that you will not have the the same amount as irritation, barrier, compromisation. That's probably what led me to quitting because my barrier was really just like, needed help. It needed to, I needed a break from tretinoin. Um, however, I did get some of those results. So at least I got something out of it. But in general, if I could go back, I would have such a different journey and I would have been way more serious about it. So take it seriously, definitely. Now, while I've spoken like about using the actual spin brush, I also want to say avoid using things that are just very, very harsh, particularly if they're astringents, really high in alcohol or just witch hazel, for example, tea tree oils. 
these kind of things just just don't don't even try and combine them if you are using tretinoin create the most simplest routine and then if you do have things that you want to incorporate incorporate into your skincare so for example let's say niacinamide gray ingredient start adding that slowly once you've built up some resistance to tretinoin in itself um then start introducing new things one thing at a time rather than thinking you can continue with your ordinary skincare routine or you can add a couple of things whilst you're also starting tretinoin and consider that a new routine it's not ideal anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you don't make the same mistakes that i made and that you did gain something out of this thank you so much for watching subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more skincare videos uh give it a like of course i think i did that for subscribe but give it a like and um feel free to leave me a comment bye